Hello, my Aquarians, and welcome back to Soul Horoscope's weekly update from my webcam to yours. I'm Chris Ruotecki, your host to the universe. And a couple of announcements. One, for those of you not in the Guardian Agency, I have a special for 30 days just to get you through the hump of the Saturn test. You know what I'm talking about? You'll know more about it. But this is either email or text message every day. I coach you through the lesson. It's one flat price. It doesn't reoccur. And it's just my way of helping those who are not in GA. If you're in GA, we're coaching you every day. And Nikki Bright is helping people into their heart chakra this Thursday. I'll be in this class, by the way, if you want to take a class with me. But this is to get you into your heart and on your inner child path, which is a big theme for the aquas. Now, the aquas and everyone on the planet, it's been a bumpy ride. We are moving at the speed of light, literally. A lot of ascension issues. People are being asked to lighten up and let go of the heavy load. And for those of us who've been facing all this stuff over and over again we can certainly feel it now this week we're gonna wrap up the Sun in Virgo we're gonna move into the Sun in Libra and that is countdown to really the most powerful shift I believe that will put you on a path in the next decade or not I've talked about it a thousand times and I really think this is the case now to review in the first start of the, uh, start of the week, we're working on our heart chakra, the IB or Virgo energy. Uh, for Aquarius, this is where you draw your boundaries. This is what turns into intimacy. And once you're in control of your boundaries, this is your potential to transform. So those of us who have very strong boundaries or who pay attention to our boundary awareness, where we draw lines and not, this aspect of our spiritual life is so important uh, to clarifying and protecting ourselves and giving us the position to transform ourselves. And transformation is so important because law of attraction. We basically attract what we are. So if you don't like what you're attracting, you have to change who you are, which means you have to transform. So uh, it's a powerful week because when we start off on Monday, you are intuiting what needs to change. This is the final Neptune day before we put the final commitment to what boundaries will and won't be. And this may all be playing out in a particular relationship this month or quitting a job or drawing a boundary with yourself, quitting drinking, starting something, you know, getting over your own uh, sticky fingers or sticky boundaries. So on Monday is a day to kind of intuit and you certainly are pensive uh, with the moon in Libra. Now the planets have a couple of themes that I want to point out. For one, we do have this Bermuda Triangle, which is squares and fears. For Aquarius, you are balancing uh, what you believe uh, with your mind and your ways of thinking. So trying to break out of old thinking patterns in order to break into what you believe. And then Pluto having the faith to do it all along. So that's a big part of the theme and we'll talk more about this. Mercury, our thinking planet, is already moved into Libra, the topic we start on later in the week. So uh, as you're wrapping up boundaries, you're also thinking about the philosophy of boundaries, where you're going, what will this do to your future. So yes, there's a lot of energies going on. On Tuesday, we get sharper, sunny and sharp. The moon is uh, shifts from Libra into Scorpio. It's also going to cross over Saturn, plus Saturn rules the day. I mean, you just can't write this stuff. Let's start first with the triangle. The triangle comes to a head today, and that's really because Pluto goes direct. So Pluto has been retrograded for six months, giving you time to figure out where your spirituality is, figure out where your faith is. It's go time on Tuesday. You must uh, you practice what you preach and have the faith. Uranus says, and keep an open mind all the while, and then Mercury, and follow what you really believe, which is what the big test is, following what you really believe. So all these come together. But probably the most important thing is the moon crossing Saturn. And here's why. The moon crossing Saturn is you allowing your emotions to get behind your new beliefs, life purpose, which is the test that goes back to 2009. Aquarius is figuring out what they believe in and therefore what you believe in is what you're here to do, right? So it turns into legacy. It turns into the career questions you've had. So we're getting our emotions behind this. As you decide and commit to a boundary policy, you will also be emotionally ratifying your own constitution, your own belief structure. And that emotional ratification is really what lights the fire of, of manifestation because once our passion is behind something this is when law of attraction really starts to take over therefore on Tuesday you're committing to boundaries and you're emotionally getting behind a belief structure so Tuesday really is a turning point indeed all right I think so Ooh -wee, I liked how that went 
Then Wednesday, go time. Mars rules the day, which means you're going to act on those decisions, immediately begin to enforce those boundaries, immediately begin to transform yourself, okay? So it's an aggressive day. Uh, you might have anxiety if you don't transform yourself. At the same time, in perfect theme, I mean, I just love this stuff, as Mars rules the day, the moon uh, crosses Mars. Now, that just happened yesterday with Saturn. Coincidence? I don't think so. So emotions get strummed. Mars in Scorpio is saying to Aquarius, all right, uh, it is time to draw some emotional boundaries about career and legacy and where you want to go next. And I know you're not super clear on that, but it's part of the puzzle. And so you are being asked to get your emotions now behind what you want in career, just after 24 hours getting your emotions behind uh, uh, what you actually believe in. So the universe is wasting no time. On Thursday, hold space, Mother Earth rules, which means whatever your transformations are, whatever your boundary changes are, now they begin to stick. The cement is drying. And we're talking about Virgo, so it is certainly sticky cement. The moon in Scorpio makes you emotionally quite career driven, even though after yesterday with that booster shot of Mars hitting it, so you are career driven. And as the day progresses, the moon moves into Sagittarius, which means that you will be more social or looking at the social consequences uh, of your actions. On Friday, oops, excuse me, wrong one. On Friday, Friday actually, sorry about that, I screwed up with the Friday one. Uh, but on Friday, things get a little bummery for a lot of reasons. Now, one, it's 29 degrees. Uh, that's a bummer. That's why it turns bummery. 29 degrees is the tested degree. So after just standing strong and drawing our boundaries, right away the universe tempts us back. So, for instance, if you were having a story this whole month about perhaps drawing boundaries with a lover, well, he or she calls you on Friday and tries to tempt you back. The universe tries to tempt you back in whatever boundaries you had drawn. And the, the formula is to emotionally push if things are good. So you are feeling pissy, I do believe. Now, the moon in Sagittarius makes you feel very public, makes you feel very exposed, I think, publicly. So if you are, again, dealing with something with boundary issues, you might be a little, be, you might be a little bit uh, overly emotionally concerned about what people think. And we're also dealing with this opposition. The moon in Sagittarius will oppose Jupiter and Gemini which literally is Gemini your inner child wants something uh, but your fee you feel like society wants this or you feel like society wants that so you're the tug of warring between the two and then Venus over here trining into the moon at the same time supporting it Venus which is allowing you to receive in relationships receive what you deserve just working out receive what you deserve uh, everywhere right receive what you deserve everywhere and so you're using that receive what you deserve uh, motivation to uh, maybe let yourself free or emotionally let yourself free from whatever social obligation so I know this is complicated I'll reiterate it is a tug of war between what your inner child wants and what society says and what gets you through it is knowing you deserve better that's what gets you through it all right I hope that was clear then on Saturday it's zero degrees zero means zero the no man's land between two states of awareness it's also the day that Carolyn Nagel's videos will go live by the way the moon goddess she's going to help you emotionally through the whole transit for 30 days if you need your moon sign looked up hey just would text us to 96362 uh, moon goddess and we'll look up your date of birth and figure out your moon sign for you that's just a courtesy from carolyn goddess bless her but we're also in that transition and we're now changing what we're working on so let's take a look at that and see what it means yes zero does mean zero. First of all we've got a square to deal with on this day which means there might be some fear between your place in society and what you really believe in. So as the universe pushes Aquarius to make up their mind about what they actually believe, you are a little afraid about the world's going to think. That's one thing. Now, we're now moving into the throat chakra energy, which is blue. Libra, I give, receive. The throat chakra is ruled by Taurus, if you know chakra energy. However, giving and receiving is executed through speaking up. All right, so we're working on our throat now. We just spent two months on our heart. Now we're working on our throat chakras. Uh, for uh, you, this is three different chapters of awareness. Basically, you're working on the I believe. This is what you believe. That's the state of awareness that holds collective conscious, all this sort of thing. Now, uh, in the first nine days, it is all about what you actually believe. So religion, philosophy, the way you were raised, all these sorts of things get reviewed one more time. Then this leads to knowledge, and knowledge leads to life purpose. What am I here to do? What is what creates meaning anyways? And this is what the universe would like you to wrap up. This is the, the two-year transit that you've been working on since 2009, figuring out what you believe in and therefore changing or upgrading your life purpose. But as we start off on Saturday, we're just going to start off with what you believe. So Saturday is the beginning. On Sunday, we're clicking into the lesson. So now you're really beginning to feel what you believe. You're, you're actually evaluating on Sunday if you can get your heart 
heart behind your belief. So do I love what I believe? Do I love my religion? Do I love uh, where my life legacy is going in that third Master Shui chapter of it? So you're cloudy, you're an introvert on Sunday, but there are a couple of other things that are worth pointing out. Uh, for one, the moon crosses Pluto. Now this means that emotions go underground and your feelings go to spiritual issues. As it crosses Pluto, you're being asked to release old fears. Let's not forget Pluto is direct, which means that you are now having to build faith, new faith. So new life brings new questions, brings new fear, brings new territory of developing faith. So the beginning of it as it crosses Pluto might be that negative dismissal of energy, but part of it is this. A yod. It's not just the moon crossing Pluto. It's a yod. God giving us the finger saying, hey, inner emotional faith is what you need to work on most. And the way you get it is you take what your inner child loves the most. You take Venus, which is what you deserve, what you love the most, what you deserve. That's what builds the faith, says this yod. And that's what I recommend doing. At the same time, this square comes to a head, which are your fears between your career direction and getting what you deserve or getting what's fair. So, oh, is my career going to get what's fair? Yes, it will. Why? Because you have faith with the odd. That's why. So Sunday is really not a rest day. It's not a fun day. It's a day of having to build that inner faith and the universe is keeping us rocking and rolling the whole time. My goodness. And it just keeps rocking and rolling. So don't forget, we got the Moon Goddess videos to help you. We got a 30-day GA seminar that will walk you through it every day. We got a creative seminar. We have set up for your success. So it's up to you now, Aquarius. I'll see you in seven days with more. Until then, live, love, be.